What is going on, guys? Today, we are looking at Konate, the newly... Is he newly? I suppose he is. Centre-back for Liverpool. Honestly, great upgrade. Fantastic upgrade. He's gone from a 78 rare. Then he did have an 82, which is a one to watch. And now he's got an 89. Fantastic. With some good stats. Obviously, in terms of the centre-backs that we do have... It's going to be very hard to match Varane, Maldini, Team of the Year, Marquinhos. But it's not all about them. And I feel like they are obviously the higher rated. But in terms of kind of the top level center backs, for instance, this card genuinely looks incredible. A shadow is going to be what you're going to need, which it is unfortunate because obviously the defending is already pretty high. But that is what it has to be. So we are going to have to put a shadow on him, which obviously gives him 93 pace. Turns him into a 93 rated center back with 96 defending. He has a medium high work rate and he is six foot four. So a big lad indeed. Right footed and he is 22 years old. Injury prone, unfortunately, on the trait, which is what it is obviously with the pace it's a great upgrade you get 91 acceleration 94 sprint speed and then looking at some kind of other stats we've got passing a good amount i'd say 89 82 is pretty standard i like that we've got great composure agility balance is definitely not awful for a center back good reactions ball control and dribbling on the average side as we'd expect great physicality his strength is absolutely brilliant good stamina again center back should be absolutely fine with that a decent amount of aggression good jumping and then obviously with the shadow on him the defending goes pretty much maxed out almost on everything so you cannot argue with that we're just going to jump straight into him because i feel like he's going to be a standard center back he's going to be very good pacey good on the turn great on recovery and standing tackle will go for a brick wall let's see if i'm right and he's also about 350 to 360 k there we go Correa 87 versus Kunate. He's going to pull the trigger and go backwards. Good. Get out. I like it. Very, very nice on that turn. You can't argue there. Varane's let it slip, but Cancelo is there for the recovery. Get it out. Good turn. A little bit of pace. Love it. Composed. Confident. Solid. Oh, the keeper. Stunning work. Kunate, I don't even... I was too admiring the keeper, to be honest. Phenomenal save, and we moved him out of position. Good tackle. Last man challenge. That is exactly what you want to see from him, as literally Varane was, was pushed out of position. Beautiful. Great recovery. Like I said, he's going to have that ability, that pace. Obviously, the strength in, in him as well is going to be just something that really, really works in our favor there. And again, we've got it here. Been absolutely done by the attacker. <laughs> Figo goes flying. Absolutely superb. Good. And away. Oh, Quenduzi. Quenduzi trying to run through. That is not happening on my watch. Kanate again. A little bit of sleep to start with, but it's all it's all fine. It's absolutely fine. Salah versus Kunate is going to try the run. No, he is going to choose the smarter option and turn around and get that pass. But read that an absolute mile away that he was going to cut back. Kanate in the middle. Let them deal with it. Try and get the ball in. There it is. He stabs at it. Unfortunately, doesn't get away from it, but he just stops him getting a clean, a clean touch on it, which is more than enough sometimes. You've just kind of got to take them wins where you can get them. And I think in general, the kind of trio between Kante, Varane, and obviously Konate himself is brilliant. It's linking up so, so well. If one of them is out of position, the other one covers. Obviously, Kante's coming in, as he always does, and just providing... Everything. Kunate. Oh, look at him. Strength is on point with him. Oh, good block as well. Everything going right for him. And I think in general, the uh, animations of him, absolutely fine. Gets behind the ball. He moves well. He's definitely uh, quite quick on the ball. Strength is definitely a huge, huge attribute for him. He absolutely bodies people. And takes the ball away and just holds them off. You can even see there. Doesn't actually technically win the ball correctly there. But he still manages just to literally hold him off. And obviously then Varane goes and recovers. And a block. Big pass out to Salah. Little 1-2. Kane gets caught. Ooh. Accidental slide from our right back. And it's a lovely little bit of play from Konate. Gets the ball. And it's straight over to Walker. So going into Konate. Obviously coming in at about 360. He's kind of fluctuating between uh, maybe a snipe at 350. To obviously about 365. Depending on what point of uh, the hour you're actually buying him at. It seems to be going up and down as we go through. But a solid centre back. 
nothing but good things from him. Obviously, with the 83 pace, we had to go without Shadow. You could potentially go Anchor, but I think having that extra kind of 10, obviously 5 onto the pace is just way better. Having the 91 acceleration, 94 sprint speed is brilliant. You then also get the big bonus of is 96 defending we've already got the 93 strength so realistically you get 99 so plus six plus five on there and obviously he's jumping his jumping is the one thing that really kind of gets that that nice upgrade with the anchor but i feel like getting that extra five on the pace then a little bit extra on the defending you can't argue there just a plus one but you get a bit more on his interceptions i think that's actually quite a nice trade-off i wouldn't say that's really downgraded going from the shadow to the anchor or the anchor to the shadow he gets a good composure on him decent agility balance we actions are good and i felt like he played well very smooth always in the right position and like i said if you've got Varane done as well a very very nice partnership Varane is like a brick wall anyway he is a cheat code and just runs around everywhere but what Konate does is he fills in them gaps if Varane goes out of position if Conte's dropping back very nicely as he does you've almost got a free at the back that really really work in sync it's it's a strange one that it works so well but it's just everything flows really nicely they cover each other they've both got very high defensive work rates and it just naturally fits into place both of them do have very good pace as well you can't argue there and i think that's like a lot of center backs to be honest we've got a lot of them and especially in the prem as well who have that 90 plus if you add a shavo we've got ruben diaz virgil you've obviously got Varane himself rudiger konate Chaloba, um, if we go further down, you've got another Rudiger, Sernchu, Gomez, um, Tunaz, T I'm not going to pronounce his name, but you know what I mean, I can't, without hearing it, can't pronounce his name, but if you get what I mean, you've already got centre-backs, at least five, six of them, probably in most leagues, to be fair to them that are 90 pace with a shadow. So that is always a, a nice benefit of having somebody like this. He will drop down in price a little bit, probably not a heavy amount because I feel like he's already at a relatively good price, more than likely under 300 maybe, but it all depends on the content we do get going forward into future stars as obviously we do have the tokens to come on the 11th, which is another seven days away. So it'll be interesting to see what happens there. But for me, I think he's a 10 out of 10 um, centre-back. I'm going to say 10 out of 10 Kunate. <laughs> he's a 10 out of 10 centre-back. Does the job. Got the tackles. Got the pace. Can't ask for much more, to be honest. The only thing extra is just a bit more stats. Having 95 short passing and 90 long passing. 90 agility. It, it's just the extra. As a defender and putting him into your team, he does the job. Let me know down below, though, what you think. Make sure you do like and subscribe on this. And I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.